Yesterday morning, I took the ZWO C-Star S50 Smart Telescope and my Dwarf Lab Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope outside, put the solar filters on, and imaged the sun. I have two separate videos recorded on how you do that with each of these telescopes, so you can go and watch those videos. I'll leave some links um, if you want to see exactly what procedures I used. But basically, I've just received this C-Star. Um, so this was the first time I was imaging the sun. I went out. Um, I told the app, take a picture of the sun. It told me, put the solar filter on. I did. It found the sun, and then it was pointing at it. I just pushed, take pictures, take videos, and it was done. Um, there's no real settings to change. Um, it just has the default settings in there, and it just takes these pictures. With the dwarf, I um, manually move it around using the controller joystick, using the wide angle lens to find the sun and put the sun in the telephoto view. Um, I change it to gain zero. I used um, like 1 200th to 1 320th of a second exposure time. I set the white balance to sunlight because I like that particular color. Um, and so, you know, you can manually tune the settings on the dwarf too. Um, and I've had this telescope for at least six months. I've imaged the sun probably 20 or 30 different days with this guy. Um, so I know what I'm doing. I feel like I got the best example shot I could from this telescope. Um, this telescope did its best example stop, shot, um, at least with out-of-the-box current firmware, and they are updating the firmware and software on it. So I'm going to just put those two images up on screen here, and you can look at them. These are one-by-one one pixel images, so their relative size is exactly right. Um, I took this image, and I just copied the direct images in, centering the sun in. Um, so you can see there's a color difference. That color difference is mostly just post-processing. You could change the color of these to match with some post-processing in the color. Um, now, the Dwarf 2 has a larger sensor. It has a 4K sensor, but it also has a larger field of view. It has a three-degree field of view. And so there are less pixels on the sun in the Dwarf 2 than there are in the Sea Star. So you get a little sharper image because it has more pixels. Also, the Dwarf 2 has a 1-inch um, aperture, while the Sea Star has a 2-inch aperture. And that aperture size is really going to help you for astronomy, for nighttime collecting lights, but it might improve the collection with the sun as well. And so, in my opinion, the Sea Star images are better. Um, so, you know, sorry Dwarf, but that's just what it is. Now, if you're trying to, you know, image the Andromeda Galaxy, you might want that three degree field of view and the 4K image sensor. Um, but right now, if you're doing solar imaging, I think that the Sea Star is the way to go. Now, the only problem, of course, is that Dwarf 2 is widely available, there's plenty of stock everywhere, and the Sea Star is backordered everywhere right now. Um, but give it a couple of months, and I suspect you'll be able to order the Sea Star just and have it arrive within a couple of days.